Oh, baby. Lighten up there, Mirror Mets. We get the Rump Padre and the Titan Slayer. Now let's go for this Mirror Mets in stealth right now, baby. Can we take him out? Boom, we get another Titan Slayer. Absolutely demolishing these guys right now. All right, baby, let's go for this Ming Ling Ling. Light him up big time. Boom, another Titan Slayer. We are slaying these Titans left, right, and center, man. Jeez Louise, Papa G. We are going on a Titan Slaying spree right now. Can we get another one? Boom, another Titan Slayer. We are wrecking shop with this thing right now. This build is absolutely amazing. Living legend, what is going on? <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is in your neck of the woods. This is Tony, and welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be using the brand new Titan weapons, Gargantua. On the screen right now, there are the stats and info on those if you're interested. And also the Pantagruel beta version of that. Very, very awesome weapons. Very, very fun. We also have the Grand Balanced Reactor. You get 16% durability and 16% additional damage on top of three Onslaught Reactors. And we're going to be using the new Northlight Mothership. Um, you get a damage slot along with the healing. So this is the first time you have a damage slot along with the healing. It heals you up also and gives you a little extra defense points and any overhealing that it does you get a Aegish shield for it so absolutely awesome stuff I'm going to show you guys two games please forgive some of the uh, the glitching around I was having some very very weird lag so we're starting off with the Scald Capri using these augmented Scalds the Tony Green Capri with the Tony Green Scalds on there really really loving this setup um, looks absolutely gorgeous so I'm just trying to figure out at this point in time what the heck is going on with this lag. I'm like swiveling back and forth to try to see like, is it me? Is it what's going on here? So we're just going to continue forward now. Nothing I could do about it, but push on forward. So I'm going to go up on these guys, try to press up onto their home beacon a little bit, apply some pressure. This is where you want to use these weapons at. They're a lot harder to aim at long range since they have a slow travel time, but if you're up in their face like a can of mace, you can hit most of your shots and do some decent, decent damage. And you have that secondary blast effect going on, damaging everybody in the vicinity. So you're going to be doing some decent damage with these bad boys. That's for certain. All right, we got our North Light Mothership healed up to 72%. I'm going to go ahead and stack this baby up and drop it on him so we can get a nice little example of what this thing actually looks like, plays like, and feels like in-game. Trying to focus on this Revenant. I'm going to switch over to this Fenrir for a second and then go back to the Rev. Doing a little swift swap. Boom, boom, boom. Hitting him up with a few shots. Doing a little razzle-dazzle. Doing a little dance action. There we go. Dropping the mothership on him. So look at this, guys. We're getting a big amount of heal in there. Um, unfortunately, we didn't have a lot of healable damage. So that got converted into a shield, which was a considerable shield. But that got taken down very fast with this Sonic Fenrir right there. But the gravity amplifier did do its job, and it did slow him down which was very nice, and I was able to wiggle around him and get some good damage on him. And here is the man of the hour, the new Titan weapons with the new Titan module. Can't wait to see what this bad boy does. This is my first game using these bad boys. Let's see how it goes. All right, all right. So you can't hit people behind cover. That's a, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. And you can't hit people through their purple shield, which is also another very good thing i was thinking that these may still have been able to do damage through the purple shield but evidently they do not so that is a beautiful beautiful thing indeed you need to watch out because there isn't a ton of ammo on here and there is a 12 second uh reload timer for that so it will take a little while for you to get your ammo back so you need to be careful and play it smart you have 500 meters range so you need to be careful you could get countered by the blindies which have 600 meters range 
you need to be real conscious of that. This guy's pushing up on me right now. Luckily, I have my flight to get into safety. He doesn't like how that feels, so he's starting to back up around the corner right now. There he goes, back and on up, back and on up. Ooh, nice. We get the triple kill over there at Center Beacon. Trying to see if we can get another one real quick. It seems like when you're hitting a bunch of people, you charge up your mothership fairly frequently, which is a very, very nice thing. Oh, man, can we take him down? We're doing some good damage on him right now. Unfortunately, he goes behind the wall, and we're not able to continue to shoot at him. But when we do, man, we are getting some good, good damage on him. Oh, no, the Luchador stole the kill, but it's all good. We are just working our position right here. Let's go up in the flight. Let's see if we can take out this Luch. Hitting him with those shots. Light him up, Daddy MP. Boom, take that, dude. Oh, my gosh, dropping that mothership on him as well. Boom, we get the Titan Slayer. Absolute destruction. So this thing destroys Luchas. You need to be careful of what's back there. I see a luchador back there with shotguns. I need to be careful. I have a feeling they're going to have a, uh, a mirror mess with blindies. That's what you got to watch out for. You got to watch out for those. If those goes into flight, you have to try to get within 500 meters. So when they take their next flight, you can take them out. You don't need quantum to shoot at a mirror mess in stealth. Um, you just need to have them in front of you, which is a very, very nice thing. Oh, almost taking him down there. Purple Shield saved his butt, man. All right, let's see if we can take this dude out right now. Come on, baby. Boom, double kill. That's what I'm talking about. All right, what do we got over here? What do we got? Ooh, it looks like we got something with blindies over there. Our Nodens with blindies. Oh, man, we're getting blinded up right now. This is no bueno. No bueno, no bueno, no bueno. Ooh, there's another Nodens in the center right here. Let's see if we can take him out. Oh, it's a Miramets. Okay, we're going to have to fall back. We're going to have to fall back using our Mothership healing right now to protect us. We're falling back down, falling back down. He was out of our range, unfortunately, so we weren't able to get any damage on him. And since this is a wide open map, we're not going to be able to uh, close that distance because he has the range advantage right there. He ended up getting taken out, which is a very nice thing, but there's still that Nodens with blindies back there. We're going to back on up, back on up. Oh, man, I wanted to see how that performed against a Siren in the sky. I didn't even realize this, but this is a squad game right now. This is a... 6v5 squad game it looks like i'm the random on the blue team so no wonder these guys are good this is this has been a really a really fun matchup so far oh man oh man lighten them up with the kujalinis lighten them up with the kujalinis so this is the battle wreck account i still haven't got any of the new stuff on my personal account yet so once i do get that stuff there i will be using my personal account you guys know how I do it. The first day or two of the event, I'll use the uh, the VR account. And then once I get the stuff on my account, I, I'll, I, I'll just use that for the remainder of the event. Ooh, making him miss some of his shots here. I skipped the rest of that match just to spare you guys. But here is the scoreboard. We were against a six-man squad. Uh, we had a four-man team and a good random on our team as well. So that was a fun, fun match. Let's hop on into our next gameplay. This is the one from the intro. This one is crazy. You guys want to stick around for this most definitely. All right, man. So we are pushing on up towards the center beacon right now. The name of the game right now is I want to get this mothership filled up, drop a mothership or two, get this Titan out, and do some work. This is a small map, so this Titan is really going to excel because most likely everything is going to be within that 500 range, so we're not going to be able to get countered very much outside of that 500 meter range. So that's the beautiful thing about this map and why I'm really excited to drop this Titan in. That last game, we had some fun with it. We were figuring it out. That was our first game. This is our second game. Let's see if we can perfect our craft, fine-tune, and hone this, hone this thing in and really get some work done. Back and on up, back and on up. I don't want to get damaged up by that airstrike and stuff. That didn't look like it was fun at all. 
So I'm gonna just start laying these Scald Shots down and try to get that Blast Effect damage on people near him. Man, this guy moved quick into Center Beacon, didn't he? Ooh, we are getting into the heat of some battle right now, man. Usually, I'm not a huge fan. Shout out to Machiavelli the Don, Machiavelli the Boss. I'm trying these Scalds out for you. These augmented Scalds were literally made for me, so I'm trying to make them work. I'm dying to upgrade these on my own account. So I'm just playing with the practicing to see if I should or not. Because they got that four times or eight times upgrade speed event going on currently right now in the game. And you know what? I think as soon as I'm done, I'm going to hop it over to my account and max these suckers out. They're not the best, but they're fun. They're my color, and I love them. I can't get enough of them, man. I love the, the green trail, the green explosion, the green projectiles. Man, that's all me all day long. I love it, love it, love it. Can't get enough of it. Trying to get that guy from a distance. Now we're going to focus on this guy that's close to us so we don't miss our shots. Just laying into this dude. Let's see if we can take him down. We're getting a, we're getting some of that uh, that glitching and stuff like that right now. We're getting some of that uh, some of that lag. I got a bad connection right now. I'm on a Wi-Fi connection, and it's really not the best to be honest. Trying to back out. We got a thousand HP. Oh my gosh, we got taken down. But it's all good, baby, because it's time to drop in the man of the hour. The mirror mess with the new Titan weapons. Here we go. First kill taking him down okay there we go we have a fafnir in flight let's see if we can take him out right now oh we got a looch right there hitting him with the emp blast going up into flight lighting him up with our built-in weapons and the new titan weapons can we take him out boo, 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 boo. come on baby come on wait a minute we're reconnecting jeez louise papa cheese we ended up getting him and a double kill that's what i'm talking about <laughs> Oh, man, this connection is so bad right now. Oh, man, we got a triple kill on deck right now. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's see if we can cruise on over. Ooh, nice. We got a Miramets in the distance. Let's get within 500 meters range and see if we can do some work on that guy. Um, Let's go back this way. Let's go back this way. All right, 524, 506. All right, we are in range, hitting with the EMP, going into flight, getting out to that Miramets lighten this dude up he doesn't have a prayer in the world and look in the corner of the screen oh we get the rob Padre and the titan slayer we got a mirror mets in stealth right now we're lighting him up can we get the kill yes we can titan slayer oh man look at this there's a feast in front of us right now let's see if we can light up this mingling ling in the sky taking him down hit him with those shots another titan slayer we are going on a titan slaying tear right now Oh, man, let's see if we can get around the corner and get this Luchador next. This is what I'm talking about, man. Boom, another Titan Slayer. We're tearing them up. Living legend. We are going on a spree. Holy cow. Another living legend. What is going on, man? This thing is so, so much fun. I can't wait to get home and play with this some more. This thing is absolutely so, so, so much fun. I can't get enough of it, dude. I cannot get enough of this. Drop it down in the comments section if you think this thing looks fun. The North Lake Mothership, do you think that's fun? Do you think the new Titan weapons look fun? Um, I'm having so much fun with them. Let me just tell you. This connection, on the other hand, we keep reconnecting and all that stuff. That's no bueno, but hey, it is what it is. We are slaying them up out here. We are slaying them up. Ooh, we're doing some good damage to that, that Skyros as well. I wonder if he's got the new pilot on there. Because the other pilot, I think, is way better because um, you... You have all that that defense mitigation BS. Like this one, it's cool because you get that suppression blast, but like you're very, very vulnerable in the ball mode then, which is not good. 13 kills, that's what I'm talking about. Five of which were Titans. We would have got that six at the end, but the game and appreciate you guys so much. Hope everybody has a great day and keep coming back. Talking life and I was set it up. I'm a sharp shooter, yeah. I will Smith, call me Prince Park, let me freshen up. Bay boy on a level up, way up in the nebulas. Uh, I'm never copping a chain.